California City Council has just released some police body camera video of um, local police putting a 10 year old girl who was in pajamas in handcuffs. Uh, and she and, and they did this as she cried and sobbed. The incident from February 2022 was part of a two year audit of complaints um, that the city council asked for complaints against the police department that they then reviewed. Uh, and it was part of this was to sort of um, was to sort of take a look at well how responsive are the police are they responding to complaints are the complaints making a difference on well, this particular video clip that we're going to show you in just a second here that that that, that were, was released you had members of the local Sacramento police force all white who were going to an African American home and they were looking for to do a probation check on a verified gang member. So no problem there, but take a look at the aggressiveness and the tone that the police used and continued to use when the gang member didn't show up, but this little girl did, who by the way was bed was watching her bedridden grandmother. Here's the video. Hi, can you unlock this please? Can you open this screen door? It's the police department. Can you open this? Hey, Sacramento Police Department, come to the door. The door. Can you open this, man? Come to the door right now. Listen, we're going to kick the door down, and we don't want to do that. Come to the door right now. Open the door. I'm a baby. Open the door. You're not a baby if you're not listening. Open the door. Come outside. Come outside right now. Who is here? Who is here? No, you don't get to go and hide and turn off the lights. That's not how this works. Okay, but you're going to be the handcuffs. Because you're not listening. Why are you running and hiding? I'm scared. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. How old are you? the police officer took the handcuffs off of the sobbing girl and went from taunting and gruff to a bit more empathetic and calm. The police audit found that this handcuffing of a 10-year-old girl does not violate police policy because such policy does not exist. As the Sacramento Bee reports, the city's inspector general, uh, Dwight White, and CPSA director Letitia Watson showed a snippet of body camera footage during Tuesday's city council meeting, eliciting tears from several members of the audience. During the video from February 10, 2022, several white male officers can be seen screaming at people inside to open the door, grabbing the metal screen and forcibly shaking it so hard, it looks like it will fall off the hinges. The audit revealed a systemic problem of officers engaging in a pattern of un reasonable stops, searches, and seizures violating community members' Fourth Amendment rights, especially Black and Latino residents. It included 109 complaint cases of improper search and seizure from June 2020 through June 2023. Police Chief Kathy Lester said she agreed with parts of the audit, which contained helpful recommendations, but disagreed with the finding that racial bias in search and seizure actions is systemic. It is worth noting that the police chief defended the officer's detainment of the girl, but the chief acknowledged that they should have detained her in another way without using handcuffs and that handcuffs were not necessary. However, the police department also points out that the handcuffs were only on for 30 seconds, they say. Well, a number of mental health experts point out that even 30 seconds of a traumatic experience like this is something that could scar this young girl for a lifetime. Uh, there are a number of cities, Jenk, across the United States that simply do not have a policy when it comes to whether or not their officers should handcuff young children. That is now something being reviewed, at least in Sacramento. Yeah. So, uh, look, uh, to double down on what uh, David said, they go out there and do a probation check. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, they're frustrated that they can't get an answer. We get it, okay? Uh, but when you see the girl and and you see how young she is, you can't have that reaction, okay? And you can't justify that reaction. So um, I got a 10-year-old daughter, coincidentally. Oh, my God. If cops came in and then handcuffed her just like that, yeah, she'd be a wreck. I mean, you know why? Because she's 10 years old. Uh, and that's super traumatic because they don't know what's going on. And, and we tell her not to answer the door to strangers. I'm sure this person was told the same thing. In fact, I think uh, in the story they did explain that she was told that. That's why she turned off the lights. She thought it's a stranger. I'm not supposed to answer the door. I'm worried. Her grandmother's uh, bedridden inside. Look, miscommunications happen. But we've got to teach cops 
to be decent to the citizens. That's the policy that doesn't exist. And that's what I'm most worried about. Now, is there also an issue of race? Look, I'd be surprised if they did it to my daughter. I got to be honest with you. And uh, wh why? Uh, because, uh, so my wife is uh, Asian. So my daughter's half Asian and half whatever I am, Mediterranean or whatever. She looks fairly Asian. So, I, and it's, we're in a middle class neighborhood. I don't, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised, okay? But it doesn't have to be anecdotal. You don't have to take my word for it, et cetera. No, they did an audit. And there's a pattern where they target blacks and Latinos. Now, why do they do that, by the way? Is it just because, oh, my God, all the cops are racist? No, because, unfortunately, demographically in this country, blacks and Latinos uh, are not as wealthy as, as whites in general, okay? And, by the way, Asians. And so it's easier to target minority communities with less power. You know, we've had cops on the show who are good, honest folks uh, who retired uh, who came and said, yeah, I mean, we're not going to go and patrol the rich white part of town because you arrest the wrong 10-year-old in this case. But they said, of course, adult in that case, you arrest the wrong guy, you could be in a world of trouble. But when you target black and Latino communities, you aren't going to be in trouble. That was the old days. Now, because some of these cameras, they are getting in trouble. And that's a good thing that should lead to reform. And reform doesn't mean no cops. And it also doesn't mean we don't change anything and we just give the cops more money. It means, God damn it, will somebody reform these police departments all across the country? Cenk, I've looked at this video, uh, and it, it runs you know, several minutes. It was posted by the Sacramento City Council. I've looked at it a couple different ways, and, and we've got a video up on it on Rebel HQ. And, and one of the things that sort of jumps out to me every time I see this is that at the moment that the little girl sort of walks out, you have the one cop who says, you're going to jail, taunting her, like hectoring her, frightening her. And to me, it gets right in with the sort of the training point that you were mentioning, and that is police, are, it's almost like it's institutional. They are culturally trained, I think to dominate situations, to be a force, to not have anything, any sort of officer safety in jeopardy. And the way they do that is they are told, you must take control. You must dominate, be the alpha male or the alpha female, whatever it is. The problem with that is that it doesn't allow enough time for an officer to take a step back, take a deep breath and say, oh my God, this is just a 10 year old girl. Hey, let's lower our voice. Let's try to deescalate. Let's not make people as nervous. There's no time for that because police officers are reflexively trained to go in heavy, to go in strong, to be aggressive. And that's a key part of this, that when you talk to people and you talk to police about what needs to change, what's a fundamental change that needs to be done in police training, the attitude needs to change away from dominating as quickly as possible and more towards, okay, Let's all take a deep breath as we encourage children to do in schools that instead of just lashing out, if you're angry, you take a deep breath and you count to five and then react. If we could only get police officers to be trained to do that as well, I think you would see communities then start to respond better. And you wouldn't have cases like this where now you have a girl, she's 10 years old now or 12 years old, two years later. She may have a view of police that is terrible for the rest of her life. And that does not help her her community, and it certainly does not help the police. And the corollary to that problem, David, is that uh, we mainly tell the cops, take control because, and do it right away because anyone can shoot you uh, within half a second. So make sure that you're dominating, sometimes shooting, beating, etc., before the other guy gets a chance to do it. No, no. It's, a, it's supposed to be a tough job where you make judgment calls, and yes, Sometimes you wait past half a second before you light into someone. Hey, oh, look, it's a 10-year-old. I shouldn't do it. In the case of Tamir Rice, oh, look, it's a 12-year-old with a toy gun, which almost all kids have. Maybe I should have waited more than a second before I shot him to death, right? But we don't teach the cops that. Why? Because honestly, they're, they're being selfish. They're saying, well, I don't. I'd rather take a risk with your life, whether I'm traumatizing a 10-year-old or I'm killing a 12-year-old. I'd rather take that risk than any risk with my life. Well, then don't be a cop. Go be an accountant. Go, there's a lot of safe jobs. I mean, imagine if the fire department was like, what do you want us to do, risk our lives by going into a burning building? Yeah, that's kind of the job. So please, do your job and do it with thoughtfulness and good judgment. is not sound, like, as I said that out loud, didn't almost all of you think, there's no chance the cops in America are going to do that.
there's something wrong with our system of government when we think there's no way in the world cops or politicians will ever do the right thing and will ever listen to the citizens. Something deeply wrong. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member-only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you got to do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you. Okay. Um, first, before I start this video, I'm going give to give a shout out to the Young Turks for this story. And, you know, I was, I was did an un indisputable version of it, but I decided to delete it because I mistakenly got the girl's age wrong. So, I, so I'm glad I got this video instead that shows everything. Now, with that being said, you look at my facial expression. You know I'm pissed off, right? These police officers are out of control. Handcuff a 10-year-old black girl wearing pajamas. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, I told you, ladies and gentlemen, they are targeting our kids. She even told the officer, I'm a baby, and they handcuffed her anyway. And remember, this is the same Sacramento police that deleted my distant cousin, Stephon Clark. But that's a different story, on another story for another time. I'm talking about this case right here. And they claiming they were looking for an alleged gang member. And you, and you telling this 10-year-old black girl, you're going to jail? Are you serious? This is beyond outrageous. This is mainly the reason why black people in the black community don't, 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 don't I'm sorry, let me calm down because... I'm angry right now. You know I'm angry, but I'm going to calm down. This is mainly the reason why black people in the community don't go to the police for anything. They want to taunt, harass citizens and think it's okay because they're black. This ain't no 15-year-old girl or 17-year-old girl or even a 21-year-old woman. This is a 10-year-old child. And you think that I'm going to be, oh, I'm angry right now. I guarantee you that this, if this was a white girl, 10 years old, they wouldn't even think about putting her in handcuffs. Her parents will be offended and outraged. Sacramento Police is one of the most dirtiest police departments in the country. I, yeah, I said it. One of the most dirtiest police departments. Like in New York, NYPD or LAPD. Sacramento Sac PD is one of the most dirtiest police departments in the country. Look how they treated, treated this 10-year-old black girl. She wore pajamas. The, the black girl said, I'm a, I'm a baby. And she was crying for her mother. And then when the officers asked how old you were, finally, I'm 10. And they were like, and they heard it, but un uncuffed her then. The damage is already done. And yes, there is racial profiling in that, I mean, when it comes to the black community. Picture yourself, I don't care if you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, picture yourself that was your daughter, 10 years old. Been treated like this, handcuffed her, like she's a grown woman. 
What would your response would be? I'm not a father, but I am an uncle. I have a 15 year old niece. And I'm telling you like this, most men I know that has a 10 year old daughter, they, might, they may go to jail themselves. How, how they're going to have the police off? This is getting out of hand now. Out of hand. And you're telling me that black people shouldn't react the way they do. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Tell that to the white community and do that to the, a, a, white, a, a 10 year old white girl and see what happens. Even um, Shink Uger even said that they're not, not going to do that to a rich white community. I guarantee to you, they would be in serious trouble. But they don't give a damn about our community, though. Ten years old. A child. I'm telling you, I knew it. They are targeting our kids. What is wrong? And then they, and they, and then they talk about uh, police reform. That's what Chick Yugen from the Young Church said. We need police reform. No, no, the hell y'all don't need police reform. Y'all need the, the end qualified immunity. That's going to stop all of this. In qualified immunity, I guarantee you everything will change. But until that happens, your president, Joe Biden, the, the, con the, con the Congress, the senators, refuse to even make that a law to end qualified immunity. That's why they. That's why we police officers get away with all of this. I'm over this, man. I'm over this. A ten-year-old black girl wearing pajamas, getting handcuffed by SAC police. Are you serious? And then, and then the cop had the audacity to tell that ten-year-old black girl, "You're going to jail." Really? You're going to scar this, you already scarred this black, this, this young child for life. Now you make it worse that you threaten her to go, say you're going to jail. No, nah, dude. No, no. I am pissed off, y'all. It's bad enough they're targeting teenagers, but they're targeting children as, as young as 10? Uh-uh, dude. No. Y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video. This is Lion's Den signing off. Deuces.